Hello everyone. Got a long easy here. Uh, we did the uh, Beechcraft Starship. Uh, I did the twin EDF and Thomas is doing the twin prop. He's still working on that. So I figured, you know what guys, we gotta do the, uh, the old long easy here. We got a lot of rain. It is pouring, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I got the other camera on the head and hopefully this thing flies. I am a half a finger behind the CG nubs, seen right here, and hopefully we get a flight in. Uh, I'm just gonna leave my trunk open. Hopefully it doesn't damage anything because I'm just gonna try and do this real quick. Uh, it shouldn't be too much different from the Starship. So yeah, let me just make sure I'm recording. I am in the rain. <laughs> It is pouring. It is gross out here, guys. I got a uh, a 1003S in here, 9 gram servos, and I got one of these little tiny 1800 motors. All we do is throw it. Let's see what happens. I hope the CG isn't too nose heavy. It's nose heavy. It is nose heavy. But it flies really good. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Holy. I am amazed at how good this thing flies. I just guessed on the CG. Seriously. Come on, don't break the nose. Don't break it. All right. I'm going to move the CG back a little bit. I'm going to get a, a little run in here. It's, it's sopping wet. It is, we need the rain, um, but it is wet, guys. All right, let me, uh, let me get the CG forward a little bit more. Hopefully this battery doesn't come loose because I am, as far as I can go with that, I'm gonna hopefully keep everything up in the front. Uh, where's my CG now? My CG is literally on the bump. Okay, so it's on my bump. Let's go again. Got just had like 15 clicks of up. Didn't need that much. Wow, I don't even need to change my bumps, guys. What a flyer, what a flyer. This is a seven by five prop, little tiny baby motor, looping it already like a champion. <laughs> Flies great. Look at that, off throttle, off throttle. Wow. Flies great. When you cut the throttle, that's the glide. We'll see the roll rate. It rolls kind of wonky because it is a, uh, I mean, actually no, it rolls, it rolls pretty decent. But look, I saw this thing at an air show, guys. Uh, the pilot's name was actually Kyle and uh, which was thought was kind of cool. And um, I'm gonna actually give it, keep it, keep the trim the way that it is. That is half throttle. So on a 1003S, you can maintain out altitude with this guy. And, uh, and wow, that little tiny baby motor that everyone on my group was saying that it might not push this thing. It's a 3D printed airplane, outdoor airplane. They fly it uh, with this motor with indoor airplanes. And, uh, it seems to be just perfect. Wow. That's off throttle. <laughs> Off throttle.
it's it's an interesting bird to fly because when you have full throttle it's hard to keep the nose down like that's full throttle no stick it wants to climb a little bit so i'm going to give it a little bit of down trim so that is off throttle no stick so it is dropping the nose a little bit i'm up to 40 percent throttle Oh, it is pouring. I am freezing. I see why I see why Rutan uh, added what do you call it? Um, pitch authority to the uh, to the canard because it needs it, but it flies good without it. It's just. I understand why he did it. I understand because at low speed, let's see what it can do. Wow, good character. It, it, I mean, it flies cool. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> All right, let me let me bring this this guy in here. Oh, oh! Hope I didn't hurt the prop. Okay. I need a little bit more. Uh, I do need a little bit more. What do you call it? Um, pitch authority on landing. I just I need more elevator. I need more. I need more pitch authority. Uh, I'm actually going to bring the CG back a little bit and see what that does. Got mud on it. <laughs> Chunked it. <laughs> this little motor is impressive. I'm actually impressed with this little guy, this little blue motor. It's like 15 bucks on Amazon. This is going to be a super, super cheap thing to put together. Two 9 gram servos, easy to throw. Uh, yeah, okay, let's throw it. Oh, much better. Oh, it's dialed now. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that CG. Look at it. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, I can take all that reflex out, all that trim. Yep, there we go. Got it. Now the low speed. Yep, it was just nose heavy. Off throttle, perfect glide. Loop. Whoa. <laughs> so, all I need to do is take my, uh, I'm just gonna bring my CG back. Uh, half a fingertip. Look at that thing fly at 40%. This thing has plenty of power. Beautiful. Fun. I like it. I definitely, definitely like this thing. Gliding way too much. I'm going to try and slow her down a little bit. Bring her in this way. I don't want to have to walk. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Didn't hurt it. <laughs> I got my printer dialed in again. And, uh, okay. So, all you need to do, or all I need to do, uh, is just make make a little bit of an extension on the Elevons. I'm going to extend them ever so slightly. Uh, 
inward, believe it or not. I'm actually gonna extend them inward um, all the way to that break. So they're gonna be a little bit bigger for, uh, for pitch authority. And I'm just gonna change the CG one half of a finger backward and we're good to go. So uh, yeah, it's got a little dirty nose. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this thing this thing flies really nice, and I am excited to fly this thing in the in the dry conditions. So uh, we don't have wind, which was nice. So that is a good thing. My transmitter is completely trashed. I hope it does not malfunction because of this. And uh, let me just I am OCD. I always do this every single time. I always like to disconnect my, my battery before I, I end the video. All right, so the long, easy flies. It's good to go, it's done. It's a, it's a cool flying plane. It flies very much like the Starship. Uh, it's just a little bit simpler. So I uh, hope you guys like the video and I will see you on the next